good. Was there a point in the year where you realized that you all had a really good defense? Uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty kind of that first bye week. Um, but I, you know, you know, we was there a little bit, and of course, did a good job of making us come together as a team. And I think you know, defense used that bye week, and uh, those first bye weeks to learn from the group. I mean, after all the guys lost last year, everybody all with them, they'll take a step back this year. You're too young, you're too inexperienced. And you end up with the top 20 defense as far as total yards, total defense. How proud are you guys of being able to accomplish that? Oh, very proud. You know, we were out of doubt over the summer. And, uh, you know, we lost some good guys. Josh, of course, you know, on the secondary, we pretty much all had a chance in the NFL. So we know we lost a lot of them. So we're pretty much proud of the way we play as a defense, you know, especially toward the end of the season. Um, they kind of set the standard last year. I'm glad that we were able to, you know, keep that standard going. That's why I was saying earlier, he thought the big thing was the confidence. The guys needed to be confident that they knew what they were doing and made the right checks. When did you start feeling that the guys were getting more confident? Uh, like I said, Bowie um, was definitely a time where I saw uh, even the coaches that kind of set up the game plan. They just wanted us to play fast, wanted to stay confident. And I think, you know, the rest of the season, we just knew that we could play with anybody. You know, we felt like we could play with anybody. You know, we knew that those first, you know, first two row losses wasn't us, it wasn't our identity. And I think we just kind of bounced back from that. You guys like going into these bowl games, obviously going up against another conference, the ACC in this particular case, kind of proving yourself and, and against another conference? Oh, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Uh, we, I feel a lot of people, especially myself, I think SEC is the best conference in college football. So for us to go out and uh, play these bowl games against different opponents, that gives us a chance to you know, make that make that uh, statement that SEC is the best yeah. conference. What's the first one? So we can ask that. So what's your kind of excitement level for your bowl gift this year? Your shop is pretty well. Okay. It's a few weeks ago. That not quite really see what normally shop at. What is, what is your take? Uh, I heard it's like, uh, it was like Macy's. So, uh, I'm, I'm excited to go. Um, it's a Christmas gift. So, you know, last year, Best Buy did that for Christmas gifts. So this is my way of getting some cheap Christmas gifts. <laughs> <laughs> What's on your Christmas list? Uh, when? <laughs> when is uh, <laughs> You got any favorite Christmas movies, Christmas traditions? Or? Uh, Home Alone, one, 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 one good one. Uh, so other than that, no tradition. It's been a time with my family. You know, uh, being here for so many weeks straight now. Um, i happy to go home in a few days and spend time with my family and see my mother. How much is this routine at this point with this team going to a bowl four years in a row now? You guys just know at this time of the year it's it's going to be about football and a bowl game. Uh, that's, it, that's all I know. Uh, like I talked about that a few weeks ago. You know, going to a bowl game for four years straight is an accomplishment. Um, I don't know how many other guys can say that when they were here. So it's definitely an accomplishment for me and this team. And, uh, I want that tradition to keep going when I leave, too. You mentioned you wanted a win. How important is it to get the win to keep the momentum of the program going? Uh, getting the eight wins, you know, after a 10 win season would be great. You know, that's definitely a goal. Uh, that's something we know that we want to do and hope to achieve. So, you know, I feel like we, we had great focus these first few days of ball prep. And uh, I think we can get that eight win if we play the way we're supposed to. As you guys are preparing, I know you just started today to prepare for Virginia Tech, but what do you know about them offensively and, and what kind of problems could they pose to you guys? Uh, they're explosive. They have some fast guys on the on the um, outside. Uh, the quarterback can run, running back can run. Uh, so they're very explosive. You know, so we just got limited their explosive plays and you know, I think that we can. Which White kind of compared a little bit to Louisville in the way that they make explosive plays. How much did that game maybe prepare you for what you might see offensively? From yeah, that? it definitely helped us. Um, they like, like Louisville, they have they have explosives. They're going to be explosive. So just got to make them put the ball down every play. You know, put it down. You know, try to limit those explosives. I think come out. You know, fight. Do you see a team like Virginia Tech, who's had 14 fumbles on the year, they've struggled in that department a little bit. Does that make you eager as a defensive guy to, to kind of attack a team like that? Oh, yeah, you know, that's one of the big things Coach White preaches is takeaways. You know, so uh, we try to get as many as we can. Every week we try to get as many takeaways as we can, put our office in a good spot. So it's up some open capital. Are we good?